Hey there. I wanted to try a little bit something different this month for my newsletter, and so I'm going to be sharing with you via video my main article. Every month this year, I have been doing a series about how I am becoming more aware of things in my life, and I've been calling it my Awareness Lesson series. So today's Awareness Lesson is Awareness Lesson number, or this month's Awareness Lesson, is Awareness Lesson number seven, What Makes You Tick? And a lot of us, I think, don't ever stop and really investigate what it is that motivates us and that makes us get out of bed every morning and go to work and do what we do and, and follow our dreams and our passions and our pursuits. So I thought I might share with you one useful trick, tip, tool, thing that I do to narrow in on what that is that I use and do to um, kind of gain a little more self-awareness about what makes me tick. So. I decided to share with you one of my vision boards that I have done in the past. I've done a couple of these iterations of a vision board or a dream board over time. And for those of you who don't know what a vision or a dream board is, uh, I'll quickly, t quickly tell you that, first of all, it's a, it's a creative endeavor that anybody can do. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. And all you do is begin collecting pictures, phrases, ideas, um, quotes, uh, things, that you like, ways of being that you want to become, whatever it might be, and, and you begin collapsing all of those into um, a single place, whether it's on a piece of poster board, maybe it's in an accordion file folder, maybe it is um, something you do, that you, a mural you paint, it can be anywhere. I happen to just put a bunch of mine together um, on a piece of uh, paper, green paper, and then I laminated the whole thing. Um, but let me show you what we've got here a little bit. Um, so what you can see here, uh, I have on my vision board what makes me tick. And I thought I would share some of these with you today to give you a little inspiration to delve into what makes you tick. So we've got Miss Phyllis Diller here, and uh, above it I've written to live a life with humor. Then over here on this side, we have Glenda the Good Witch. And uh, next to Glenda, I have written to live a life that's powerful and resourceful. And then if you slide down here, we have Miss Audrey Hepburn. And next to her, I have written live a life of class and strength. I love Audrey Hepburn for that. And on the other side, we have my mom. And next to that, it says live a life of bravery and courage. Because my mom has certainly lived a life that has been incredibly courageous and brave. And um, I'm forever inspired by her. Now I also have some things up here uh, that I want to have in my life or produce. And one of those is a Women in Leadership Training Institute uh, at some point. Found a nonprofit leadership institute that focuses on the advancement of women uh, and women professionals. I also have here to write an award-winning chapter book for children. Over here, chase tornadoes across Kansas in the springtime. And down here, um, collect fine art and paintings. This one happens to be a painting by one of my dear friends, Jacob Pfeiffer, who is a modern realist and an amazing, amazing painter. And over here, spend a month touring with a gospel choir. I could think of nothing more spiritual and soul-filling than that. And here, go on holiday for an entire year. Down here... Own a flat in Barcelona. I've always been super inspired by the Mediterranean and the Mediterranean way of life. And I uh, would love to have some real estate over there. Um, and of course, go there and spend time there on a regular basis. And then finally, of course, um, oh, I missed the camera over here. To spend a, a year traveling across the United States, and really, I would amend this now to say the world, photographing women at work. Um, what are they doing? Where are they working? How are they doing it? I think that could be a fascinating piece of uh, photojournalism. And then finally, here, um, my family. And they certainly don't look like this anymore, but to love you forever and always is a big motivator for me. So those are some of the things that make me tick. Uh, I hope that this helps to inspire you to get out there and figure out what makes you tick. And of course, if at any time you'd like some guidance or some assistance in figuring out what that is that makes you tick, uh, what your big why, your big dreams, your vision for why you're here on this earth might be. Uh, that's what we as coaches do, is help people figure that out. So 
come talk to me. Um, take me up on a sample session and just see what it's all about because I'd certainly love to help you do that if that's what you want. Thanks so much. Enjoy a beautiful fall day.